a double. Star of marine and material obscene. Gall of goat and slips of you. Boat of mischief in monkey business. Button of minister to all that is sinister. Enchanting you, what you put in. Boil, boil, toil and trouble. Fire, burn and marine bubble. Bag of loot and I ran eight. This marine will meet his fate. By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. Boil, boil, toil and trouble. Fire burn an ocean bubble. Button of minister to all that is sinister. Enchanting all that he puts in. By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Congressman, now that you've lost the presidency and will soon be voted out of office, was it worth the few moments of pleasure? Well, I have to say in all honesty, I had a hell of a good time. I'll tell you, if the taxpayers could have seen how gorgeous those gals are, they would know their money is well spent. Who could have believed? It seemed like yesterday that I was standing in line to take a bath in a little tin barrel outside of our shack. The heavens open and send forth down to this poor sinner. English teacher in high school, he inspired me to be the actress I am today because he failed me in English. <laughs> And now what? Um, Colonel West, what exactly is your relationship with your secretary? Yes, Colonel West, just what is your relationship with your secretary?
For your information, there is nothing going on there. God made my secretary beautiful. Because of that, people may snicker and say, oh, there must be some sort of hanky-panky going on there because of that. Colonel, uh, what about this bikini that was bought with CIA money? Yes, Colonel, what about the bikinis bought with the CIA money? <laughs> I had forgot about that bikini. Until the other day, my wife had said to me, Hey, you knucklehead, don't you remember you bought it for me for our 15th wedding anniversary? Now tell me, Colonel, have you ever had a love affair? Yes, Colonel. Have you ever had a love affair? Is there a goddamn echo in here or something? Yes, I have. I have had a love affair for 15 wonderful years. And I've had this wonderful affair with my beautiful wife, the mother of my children. This is Reverend Faker saying, give so that the little orphan girls can live. And my campaign theme is, we need a harmonizer, not a womanizer. Why you? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in this campaign not for any other reason but than to make a meaningful exchange on the issues in society. I'm not a womanizer, and for once and for all, we're going to set those issues aside. I challenge every one of you reporters to follow me around, see what I'm up to, and I guarantee it, you're in for a very dull time. When a lad just meets a lassie And he asks for a kiss Then he becomes a lassie sassy Ride blankets, huh. raw miss. miss Beach blankets, bingo Beach blankets, bingo Beach blankets, You'll see bingo. what happens when a politician, a soldier and an overzealous preacher start chasing after the wrong girls. That's a game for me and you now. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. Just wait until they meet the Malibu Beach Vampire. You'll see anger. Look, it's a whole shooting work. It's a whole damn shooting work. This beach house, the boat, the giant walk, the Rolls Royce, all of these material possessions, our lifestyles together. And, and even the air-conditioned doghouse. You'll see passion. Mila, there you are.
it. Bingo! That's the name of the game. I just love days like this. Put me in such a melancholy sort of a mood. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I, I've got some work to do. I am enchanted by you. Is that your house? Yeah, we, uh, we time share it. What do you say I take you out and teach you how to surf? I've heard that line before. No thanks. Why not? It's a great day. It's, the waves are perfect. No. Why? I said no. Please. Why then? I have to go. Wait, why? You're keeping me against my will. Leave me alone. Just tell me. You really want to know? Yeah, I really want to know. I, I'm from another world. Come on. Are you serious? All right, let's hear it. I, I'm from the underworld. And from time to time, we surface to expose the evil in the world oh, of those who exploit others for profit and seek gratification. In our way, we provide retribution. And we punish those who, who rob and, and lie and, and exploit others for their own evil means. We bite into them and we don't suck their blood, but we inject a truth serum. And our victim must tell the truth or die. I don't believe a word of that. Excuse me. You're my Prince Charming. Please, please. 
please don't. Minnesota, but our hearts are in the country, and our hearts are in that old time religion. Yeah. It's good enough for 
where the TV is. And here we have the stereo. I hope you brought some tunes so you can boogie down to. I know how you girls like to dance. And the kitchen is right through that other hallway, and I stocked the refrigerator with plenty of yummy. But anyway, my hubby and I won't be around to distract y'all, so. We're just gonna go along to the, to the store. We'll be back in about an hour. Anyway, enjoy. Bye. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Party! Wow, <laughs> oh, this is so great. Look at this furniture. You know, I can even hear the ocean. I have got dibs on this down stuff couch. I don't mind the floor. <laughs> oh, God. How long can any guys way the hell out here? God, Dottie, do you have to start every sentence with God? Maybe. <laughs> do you think we really need guys? I mean, they're such a pain. Uh, no, guys, no way. I mean, are you crazy? Dottie, maybe Morgan's right. Why don't we just sit here and do each other's makeup? See what one of us looks more like Christy Brinkley. Oh, yeah, Morgan, one you just love to look like Christy Brinkley. <laughs> I already do. Ladies, ladies, have you not learned a thing from me? I mean, Malibu, stars, white sand, a totally radical beach house, and a killer bikini. <laughs> Tonight, we are taking no victims. Anyway, you're engaged again. So why make any other post-puberty admirers suffer at your feet? All right, I get the visuals, loud and clear, no boys. Anyway, you need some help with your makeup. I don't wear that mucky, unnatural slump. My point exactly. Your problem is that you look too much like you. You're not supposed to recognize a shred of your former self. I think you've been in for too many shock treatments. No, but your hair looks like somebody after shock treatment. Trust me, I can transform you. I wonder if you even think about normal things, like college. Ladies, ladies, come on. Christy, why don't you go and scope things out, all right? And I'll get ready for Morgan's makeover. Exactly like a Turkish bath. You guys don't even know what that means. If it were a Turkish bath, it would be filled with men. Well, hot damn, where'd I sign up? Oh, fat old men with bad breath. My name's Bond. <sighs> James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> there is a walk-in closet back there just stuck with evening gowns, cashmere sweaters, tuxes. I'm talking Albert Nippon, Donna Karen. I'm talking heaven. Come on! Guys, look, look, look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Take this, take this, take this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a wedding gown. Oh, my God. It's just going to be it. Dottie, it looks really tiny, like a size three. Dottie, you're a fiver. I wouldn't have to always be lending you my stuff. Be, 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 well, I'll just make like a size three. Yeah. Yeah. Dottie, 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 that green stuff was just a temporary hair rest. Well, I didn't know. Right. Oh, and she takes my father's <laughs> car that's a convertible to the auto wash and yeah. the top down. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, what about when we stuck into the driving in the trunk of that car? Oh, God. Oh, my God. And she drops the keys down the storm drain. <laughs> well, I can't give to anybody. Oh, uh huh. We're back. Let us know if you needed anything. Oh, and, and just one thing. Don't touch any of those costumes. It's a practically priceless collection.
collection worn in famous movie scenes. Reverend Faker is quite a movie aficionado. Aficionado? Like how uh, Chuck feels towards you? Practically worship for what? It's a good thing we were forced into Mr. Mr. Estes' advanced sewing class after Miss Higgins cracked up during calculus yeah. last year. Even you can do that, Dottie. Sew it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll fix it. All right. told you I could transform you. You look so pretty. Thanks. Oh, my rings. Oh, God, not the, not the rings again, Dottie, please. See, Morgan's never seen him once. No, it's her sicko trophy collection. You know, guys who yearned and then got spurned. That rhymed. <laughs> I, I can't find the diamond. Right there in the center. Next to that little bit of fuss, back to the pearl. <laughs> That's a pearl. C come on, Dottie. Their love ran about as deep as those diamonds. No, I mean, I didn't show her the one that was engraved yet. Good look. To my Sheila, all my love forever, Reverend Faker. Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila was the girl who should have gotten the ring, but Dottie elbowed in there and, of course, put a stop to it. So he, he turned around and, and gave it to Dottie, and she took it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Far more complicated, you see. Sheila threw it at Dottie in a rage, <laughs> and it actually stuck in Dottie's hair mood. <laughs> <laughs> well, my daddy's an attorney, and he said the possession's not tenths of the law, so it's mine now. Oh. Oh, well, where would we be as, as children without fathers to mold our budding morality? What's this? It looks just like you. But it isn't. Is this your mother? I am. My father still talks about her. What's wrong? It, you know, it's okay, Maury, if you don't like how you look, I'll understand. I'm really nothing but good grades, perfect grammar. Everything I do is planned. From Stanford to the way I pack my luggage for the beach. Such a baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. Here you go. <laughs> right. You know, Janet Jasper sits in the front row of family psychology, and she can actually see him flexing his butt muscles during class. Oh, all right. That's wild. It's obscene. There is nothing obscene about those great little butts. Yeah, well, Daddy should know. She's the one who has lobs those pins. Yeah. Bend over, pick up, and throw on the waistband. Well, he called me a little rocket scientist. 
Give me a break. <laughs> you know, I do have a dream. Tell us. A what? real dream. What? Come on, come on, come on. Oh. I can see it as if it was really happening. I'm up on this stage, and there's this huge crowd below me. And everyone is dressed to the nines and minks and diamonds. <laughs> well, who are you, Joan Collins or the Queen of England? Oh. <laughs> I'm someone who's just like Cher. <laughs> and the award goes to. But it wouldn't be right unless I thanked everybody in my life that has made this possible. Starting with Dr. Osborne, who helped turn me around while I was still in my womb. And Dr. Raymer, who helped fix my teeth. And, let's see, um, Mr. Fargo, my English teacher in high school. He inspired me to be the actress I am today because he failed me in English. <laughs> and Mr. Bob, the man who made me what I am today, totally blonde. <laughs> oh, God, thank you so much. And my two bestest friends in the whole world, Dottie and Morgan. Thank you so much. <laughs> what are you doing? You must be next. You weren't even nominated. Get away from me. Sure did, you bet. And what about this money for those bikinis? <laughs> I had forgot. Well, uh, oh yeah, the bikinis. <laughs> ah, that that went to the best set of mistresses this side of heaven. <laughs> ah, boy, I'll tell you, if the taxpayers could have seen how gorgeous those gals are, they would know their money is well spent. <laughs> I'm not gonna take the fall for you or, or for anyone. I'm not gonna be your mousy bimbo slave anymore. 
it's time for the secretaries of the world to just stand up for themselves and, and not cover up for their bosses anymore. Tell the truth, okay? Don't you think it's a tragic waste of lives of men, lives of women, lives of innocent children by giving weapons to the Contras? In spite of the fact that the people of this small Central American country have voted in democracy on their own without our interference? Don't you think it's wrong to avoid our legally elected congressional representatives' wishes when they said no to any weapons in the Contras? Who made you God? You have blood on your hands, Colonel West. I get it! I can't help tell the truth! I mean, who gave the orders? I mean, who decided to give the money to the Contras? I mean, in other words, who was calling the shots, son? Yes, Colonel, who was calling the shots? I did. By yourself? You mean you, you took it all on yourself? You did it by yourself? I take a lot of initiative. I mean, how could just such a few Marines create such a mess? Yes, Colonel. How could a few Marines create such havoc? Never underestimate the Marine Corps. Do you see these ribbons? Each ribbon is for a Marine who gave his life for his country. They never asked what the Vietnam War was about. Yes, son, I, I've been asking myself that for years. Yes. I've been asking myself that for years. And I can answer with an emphatic, I don't know. But what I do know, sir, is that once the Marine Corps left Southeast Asia, four million people were killed in Cambodia. You see, those Marines, they never questioned why or what their duty was. There was no college deferment for them. They died, and they died proudly. I know, I was there. You see, we're looked at as your white trash, sir. Your white trash that fights your wars. Your white trash that's used on your personal chessboard. But tomorrow, will be a better day for America because we have the Marine Corps. I delivered the weapons, sir. I initiated the, everything for the Contras. I planned the whole damn thing. If my president says to stand on my head, I'll do it, sir, and I'll do it proudly. I only ask that innocent people are not indiscriminately killed beat the foe, no matter how powerful 
evil or insidious he may be. See him for five. Assassinated, as was Dr. Martin Luther King, Harvey Milk, and John Kennedy. It's my duty, yes, my obligation, to reveal these following facts. This Congressman Terry Upstart is a womanizer, and not just with Lana Nice, but with a famous soap opera star who has her own soap brand, and with a movie star who not only has her own perfume, but her own chain of malt shops. When he said he was going to Nicaragua, he was really going to Puerto Vallarta with these women. Now there's this old chap, Colonel West. He used CIA monies to purchase a Land Rover, women's underwear, and when he hit the beach, it wasn't in Grenada. It was on the French Riviera. Now there's this poor old soul, Reverend Faker. He says that his flock should take care of their shepherd. Boy, believe me, they sure did. When I'm gone, perhaps Bill should leave, lead the movement while he sleeps around. Could be Cynthia. Well, she's a jerk. Or it could be Juliet, who's a chaser of lost causes. Anyhow, the movement will not die with me. So rise, you, poor and underprivileged, the disenfranchised of America. Arise, you, the unwanted, the lowest of low. Tomorrow will be a better day because of you.
I don't know where you'll be when you get this tape. You may be in the shower. You may be in the bedroom with nothing on but a towel. With your body wet and your hair wet and wild. Then you'll have nothing on except the radio. You may hear my voice, and it may inspire you to... Brothers and sisters, Pammy and I have just thought of the ultimate evil, an evil that is sweeping across the country and possessing the very souls of our young people. It is an evil and a corruption that is so great that doctors even say that the hearts, the hearts of our young people because of its influence. Well, we know what that evil is. Ladies and gentlemen, that evil is rock and roll. And here to sing a song about a music form that is pure and wonderful and will last forever is our own sister Sue and brother Stephen. Let's welcome them all.
Ladies and gentlemen, across our studios, here today we have clotheslines and clothespins and bed sheets. Now I, I want to hear the rattling of dollars and not the jingle of coins. So place your money up on the clotheslines and bed sheets now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you, and the little orphan girls thank you. Now, is there anyone here in our audience today that is in need of special healing? I want to be healed, Brother Franker. And so you shall. Ladies and gentlemen, campaign supporters, today I have an announcement to make. I will occasionally be glancing at my notes, but I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, campaign supporters, friends and members of my family, today I have a major announcement to make. I will be glancing at my notes, but I can assure you, I say this with all sincerity, from the bottom of my heart. I am a fraud, a phony, and a fake. I was in this campaign not for the good of my country. I was in this campaign for the good of my own ego, my own self-grandizement. I don't want to know people. I don't want to represent others. I don't care what they think. I just want to quickly dazzle them with my superficial, clean-cut image and hope to hell they get away. And if they don't get away from me, I'm going to get away from them, I assure you. Everything about me is phony. All the way down to my name. My real name is Manny Zabowitz. 
I changed my name because I wanted to get into some of those clubs that I thought were important to get into in order to facilitate my entrance into the social lead in America. Clubs that exclude people. I now know that clubs that exclude people aren't worth joining. Mother, today I am a man. I am proud of my heritage, and I am proud of my faith. I'm the son of a European lawyer. My mother is a professor. During the war, the Nazis had taken everything from her, everything but her mind, her education. When she came to America, she was able to come with the only thing she had left, her education. She obtained the position in one of the greatest universities in this country, the University of Southern California. Ladies and gentlemen, I am what I am. I am just an ordinary man. I come to you with faults. I come to you with talents. I've come with ambitions, great ambitions and failures. I am what I am, and I am just an ordinary man. I believe the people have spoken. Uh, Congressman, now that you've lost the presidency and will soon be voted out of office, was it worth a few moments of pleasure? Well, I have to say in all honesty, I had a hell of a good time. Thank you so much. What are you doing? Yes, Max, you weren't even nominated. Get away from me. Stop it! Get away! 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 All the way around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think we're ready to begin. Um, as you know, I have been making a few changes around here, and some of you, <laughs> in fact, most of you, won't be here by this time tomorrow. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> what a delightful and delicious surprise. You know, Pammy and me, we started out as puppeteers. I didn't make Stanford. I said Jean just wasn't high enough. I had everything perfectly planned. My whole life was planned. It was ruined with one stupid damn test is ruined. I have nothing. Nothing? Oh, come on. There's, there's more to life than Stanford University. Why? There's, there's me. Oh! There's my ministry. Our ministry. Well? Well? Well. <laughs> well, commitment? You know, my, my friend, Colonel West, he's very fond of that word. Are you going to divorce that walking mascara commercial or not? Oh, let me tell you about my day. <laughs> oh, it was a doozy. As usual, I was in need of funding to expand my empire into Korea this time. So I looked out into the crowd, and I did the oldie but goodie, faith healing. I knew this would get the money rolling in. I said, who in this crowd needs to be healed? And from afar, I heard a voice. And it was the voice of Sister Smith, and she said, Reverend Faker, Reverend Faker, heal me. I cannot walk and have been on crutches all of my life. I said, Sister Smith, do you believe? And she says, I believe. Then go behind the curtain. Then I heard another voice. It was the voice of Brother Jones. And Brother Jones said, Reverend Faker, I've had this list all my life. Could you heal me? I said, Brother Jones, do you believe? I believe, Reverend Faker. Then go behind the curtain, Brother Jones. Sister Smith, do you believe? I believe. Brother Jones, do you believe? I believe, Reverend Faker. Then Sister Smith throw away the first crutch, and she throws away the first crutch. Now, Sister Smith, throw away the second crutch. And she throws away the second crutch. And now, Brother Jones, speak. Reverend Thicker, Sister Smith fell out her asp. Then what'd you do? Well, I had to revert back to a standard old routine, but goody. The old cripple child in the wheelchair routine. Son, do I exploit you? No, Reverend Faker. Do I use you for my own self-promotion, son? No, Reverend Faker. Do I use you just to get contributions? No, Reverend Faker. Do I use you for my own self-promotion and self-aggrandizement? No, Reverend Faker. I love you. I love you too, son. And with that, the money came pouring in. Shout hallelujah. Are you going to divorce her or what? This lifestyle you enjoy requires a certain, a certain... What? Image of merit stability, of wholesome, all-American family life. That image, that ideal, that vision that makes those who believe want to, want to contribute. I don't give a damn about anybody who wants to contribute or those who believe in you. Well, you should. They make all this possible. What? The house, the boat, the Jaguar, a decent seat at Spargo's restaurant. Do you want us to sit out there in Siberia by the waiter's quarters? And yes, yes, it even contributes to 
little Fluffy's air-conditioned doghouse. I don't give a shit about any of this or this air-conditioned doghouse. Don't, don't do that to Fluffy. He can only take 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy! Go chase after that damn dog. You love that dog more than you love me. Oh, that's not true. I love both of you equally. Oh. Oh, oh all right. I, I, I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll divorce her and, and marry her. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> no, no, not my finger! Not my finger! Not my finger! Not my finger! Not my finger. Yeah! Oh, and here we have Reverend Faker sneaking out of the house. Reverend Faker, is it true that you have a girlfriend in your life? Oh, uh, you mean girlfriends? <laughs> I can't stop but to tell the truth! Well, you heard it first on WKBU Malibu. <laughs> Back to you, Jack. <laughs> Is it true that I was to be massacred by vampires that looked like Tammy Faye? I now know that I was being punished for past transgressions. I should have gotten into things that were far more productive. have chased away that census taker and that heart surgeon was right I did need more exercise and that Barbara Bush impersonator should have gotten a bigger part in the film thank you praise God I was naked and you closed me I was hungry and you fed me I was lost and now I am found I found the Lord and a 50-year prison sentence. Hallelujah! I'm safe. Hey, everybody, let's dance. <laughs> Wobble, wobble, wobble. It's the lollipop chip.